I am so excited to be here with all of you today. I'm thinking of courage and uh, what does it take to be courageous? And I want to give you some confidence and some tools for how you can be courageous uh, in, in your context and especially in, when it comes to impacting your government. So how can you have the courage to speak to elected officials? Let me give you some practical steps so you can have confidence to act in courage. So one of the things that's really important is homeschoolers not just paying attention to the world around them, but engaging it, to be courageous, to stand up and say, I am willing to make a difference. And so what I think of when I think of homeschoolers making a difference, I think of people like you who decide that I'm going to participate in a capital day. I'm going to go out of my way. I'm going to carve time out of my schedule and go and meet elected officials so that they can put a face to the idea of homeschooling. So they can be held accountable when they're thinking about regulating homeschooling, that they're going to think of you. And this is super, super important because what ends up happening is relationships are built. What I am asking you all to do is to work with the homeschoolers of Maine to build relationships with legislators. To build those relationships with legislators so that they can see the face of homeschoolers. Obviously, HSLDA, we do our part to, to support what you are doing there. And Homeschoolers of Maine is a wonderful organization that's doing their part, but we are stronger when we all work together. Uh, practical tools. How do you build a relationship with a legislator? I have what I call the three meeting rule. But the first time you meet them, the first thing you do is you introduce yourself and you tie it into something that, uh, that they can tag you with. So obviously when we're talking about homeschooling, homeschooling is the easy thing. So I would say, hi, Congressman Miller, my name's Jeremiah and I'm a homeschooler. So now he has, he has, he's met me, he has a tag for what it is, homeschooling, and my name. And then I just thank them. I, I just say something nice, like, thank you for being willing to serve uh, your community. Even if I disagree with them on everything that they're doing, I can say thank you for having a heart of public service. I, I just want it to be a warm interaction. I'm not asking them for anything at this point. I'm just introducing myself. This is meeting number one. Introduce yourself, give them something to remember, aka uh, homeschooling, and thank them for something. That's meeting number one. Meeting number two, reintroduce yourself. Now, they will probably not remember you. Remember, these people, are, uh, they meet a million people all the time. And even if they do kind of vaguely remember you, they will not remember your name, more than likely. Uh, so what I do is I reintroduce myself. Hey, Congressman Miller, I don't know if you remember me. My name's Jeremiah. I met you at the library. I get all that out as fast as I can. And then they're like, of course I remember you, Jeremiah. It's good to see you again. Literally every single time. I've never had a politician not remember me <laughs> when I give them the, the cheat sheet. I help them cheat. And then at that point, I, uh, in the conversation, I bring up homeschooling again. So remember, I'm, harking, I, I'm, I'm echoing back to the original conversation. I'm just bringing up homeschooling again. And then I, I um, ask them a question um, about something related to homeschooling. Like, hey, do you work with a lot of homeschoolers? Or uh, do you have any family or friends that homeschool? You know, something like that. Just, just to underline the homeschool connection again. So remember, the first time you meet them, you just introduce yourself and tie it to something like homeschooling and then thank them for whatever. Second time, reintroduce yourself, remind them of where they met you last time and ask them a question about the thing you tied yourself to, aka homeschooling. So that's meeting number two. So now, like they've got it in their head. I remember Jeremiah, right? Third meeting, third meeting. You do the same thing you did in the second meeting. Remind them of your name and uh, give them some context, like homeschooling. So I, I'll, and, and by the third meeting, you'll be surprised, but by this time, most elected officials will actually remember you. They may not remember your name, they may not remember all the details, but if you give them enough, they'll, they'll probably remember your face by the third time. 
And so uh, now you have gone from being a random citizen, which is where you started, to being a valued member of the community. You, uh, now that you're a valued member of the community, now you have a voice. When you ask them to do something, they are a hundred times more likely to listen. They are likely to listen to what you have to say at that point. So that's, uh, that, that's, that's some tips to give you some um, practical steps to have some confidence to add that to your courage so that you can act.